Ben, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. How does it feel to be a Cherries player? Yeah, really exciting, obviously. Um, there was, well, it's happened quite fast, really, the past couple of days. It's, it seems to have flown by, I think. I always had in my head that I wanted to leave Preston as good as time I've, as I've had there. Um, I think I've been there four or five years. It was time, time to move on. And I just thought with a club of this ambition, um, just come down from the Premier League, I thought it was just a perfect fit for me. And as you said, you talked about the ambition there. Is that what it was about Bournemouth that made you want to come here? Yeah, I think when you, when you look at the players they've got, um, the style of football they play, um, I think when we played them, we knew it was going to be a tough game um, earlier on in the season. So, so no, I think just when looking around the stadium, um, everyone says how nice a place Bournemouth is to live. I think everything added up. And um, I think my goal, obviously, at some point is to play Premiership football. And I think... Um, being here gives me a good chance of that. For you, just tell us what the last 24 hours have been like because you know you say the moves happen quite quickly. How did it all come about? Um, probably over the past couple of days I've I heard of the interest um, and then yesterday um, I think the offer came in from, from Bournemouth to Preston and then obviously my agent just said that oh, today it could, it could happen and then um, got the phone call this morning saying basically get down to Bournemouth and and sign the papers so so it's been a bit of a whirlwind couple of days but one that I was expecting and hoping for um, and I'm just glad that it's all done now and I can crack on and concentrate on football. Have you had a chance to speak to or, or meet Jason Tindall yet? Yeah I've just spoke to him um, the past five, five ten minutes um, obviously great what, what he did in the Premiership and working with Ed, Eddie Howe um, and obviously he's done great things here up to now so I just think um, this club over the past five years being in the Premiership is um, seems to be a massive club, um, especially for me com coming down here, learning um, of better players, playing in a better team. Um, and like I said, just, just having that opportunity to play Premiership football at some point was a, was a big factor. And for you, you've had a little walk around, you've had a, a brief look around. What are your first impressions of the facilities here? Yeah, I think the facilities are great. Um, when I was at Preston, I think the, the first place we were at was, was really poor and then we just moved into um, a new place there. So it's similar standard to that. It's really nice, good for the, this level. Um, and you now just, just really looking forward to getting in. Um, I think I'm back in Monday now to, to properly start um, in with the rest of the lads and just crack on really. You played in that game here for Preston in December. What are your memories of that game, you know, a month later and, and you're an AFC Bournemouth player? It's all been a bit of a whirlwind, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, I think football's weird like that. Isn't it? One minute you're, I'm up in Manchester and the next minute I'm down here, my life's completely changed. Um, but no, that's football. I re really enjoyed playing here. I think I've played probably at this stadium two or three times and always seem to do well. Um, I think the pitch is great. Um, obviously playing against Bournemouth is is a big task for any club. Um, I think when, when we play against them, we knew it was going to be a tough game. So, uh, no, just ha just happy to get it done now. Um, now I can fully concentrate on football and stop worrying about where I'm going to be. Someone who we recently signed was Jack Wilshire. How much are you looking forward to playing in the midfield with him? Yeah, really. It's, I think that just shows the ambition of, of the club and, and where it's heading. Um, obviously, that was the m main attraction, just c coming playing for a better team with, with better players. Um, sort of a different philosophy of football. Um, so I think all them things sort of really enticed me in. For our fans who perhaps might not know as much about you, how would you describe your, your style of play and the type of player you are? Um, <laughs> it's a tough question really, isn't it? Um, I say I've got a, a little bit of everything I can, I can tackle. I, I'm fast across the ground. Um, I, can, I can pass it when I need to. Um, I think I've just got a little bit of everything. Um, so I think I can play sort of in the number six, number eight role. Um, sort of get the ball to defenders and start attacks and break play up. So I'd probably describe myself as that really. And you've got good experience in the championship with Preston. How much do you feel that can add to the squad that's here? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a difficult league. And for any lads who haven't played in it before, it's, um, it's tough coming into it. And I think from probably playing in the Premiership, what a few lads did coming down, it's a bit of a wake-up call, it's, it's a lot more physical, a lot more demanding. Um, but no, I've had probably 150, 200 games in the Championship now, so I sort of know what it's about. Um, I know I'm just, just ready for that new challenge now. 
You mentioned, you know, you'll be back here on Monday, ready to ready to train, ready to get involved. How much can you, you know, how much are you looking forward to just getting stuck in? Yeah, I've probably been saying it for the past year. I needed a, a new start, um, something different, um, something to motivate me and and get me going. And I think um, just coming to a new new club uh, brings that. I think it just brings that motivation back to do well. Um, show the fans, the, the rest of the, your teammates, uh, the manager what you can do so I think um, that's probably the biggest thing for me is just have that fresh start and, and crack on.